Now it is a story you will only see here on NBC 26. They were teens made to cope with tragedy. 15 and 16 years old when their parents died in a crash. The man police ID'd as the other driver is in prison. He pleaded no contest to charges, including OWI. So who's responsible, not criminally, but financially after a crash like this? Well, a wrongful death lawsuit says there were two people who played roles that night. And that night was when everything changed for the Rush family. Parents, James and Wendy, and their children, Christopher and Megan. The first ending came on Packerland. I just wish I could hear her voice tell me she loves me one last time. The second ending, a different kind, came in court. I think about this all the time. Countless number of lives that I affected. I did this. And nothing I say can make it any better. Daniel Boucher pleaded no contest to charges including OWI and reckless homicide in the deaths of James and Wendy Rush. A police report says Boucher was going at least 55 when he ran a stop sign and crashed into the Rush's sob at Packerland and Oakwood in Green Bay, February 2016. I'm truly sorry. Now a lawsuit from the Rush's children says Boucher wasn't the only one negligent that night. The lawsuit says it was Mary Kamenecki's vehicle that Boucher was driving, and she directed him to drive it. A police report says Mary's daughter was engaged to Dan. Mary was not charged in the case. But the surviving children of the Rushes say that you are partly to blame for what happened. Are you partly to blame for what happened? No. Absolutely not. I never handed my keys to him or told him to drive my vehicle. This is a police recording from the night of the crash, Mary talking to police. A police report says Mary told an officer that she, her daughter, and Dan were drinking that night, someone else's place. And I said, well, I'm just going to go home. I'm going to start walking, and you guys can, whatever, just bring the truck home. So you said, come home when you want to come home, or, or what? Yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't think either one of them were drunk. The police report says Boucher's blood alcohol level that night was 0 .20, more than twice the legal limit. I set my keys on a kitchen table at the house I was at, which was more than Dan and Tara there. And I said, make sure my, my vehicle gets home because I have to work tomorrow afternoon. I just wanted to make my sure my vehicle got home by the next afternoon. Okay. I never give any specific time, no time frame, except for the next afternoon. Attorney Avi Burke is not connected to the case, but he's filed lawsuits like it. Aside from this specific case, we asked him in general about decisions made at the end of a night of drinking. If you let somebody use your vehicle and you know that that person has been drinking to excess, then you are taking a risk that you will be held responsible as well. And this, the scene of the crash, Packerland and Oakwood. Dan Boucher, who's in prison in this case, is also a defendant in this wrongful death lawsuit. His lawyers in the suit tell me that they either wouldn't or couldn't talk to me. We asked the Department of Corrections to talk with Boucher in person. They said we could not. A judge sentenced Boucher to more than 30 years in prison. The victim's children, though, don't get to look toward any similar countdown. I never forget the feeling when I realized that they were never coming home. And we mentioned in the story that Mary Kamenecki, the defendant in the lawsuit, woman we talked with, was not charged with a crime in the case. The Brown County prosecutor tells me there wasn't a legal basis to charge her.